everybody and welcome to the studio show where creativity is shared and celebrated. I am your host, Michael Kedju, this 13th day of February 2021. I know it's been a while, but I'm back. I want to show you a couple pieces today. Uh, one of them is abstract, the other one's figurative, I'd say. And I know I'm challenged when it comes to getting this whole piece in here because it's 36 by 24, so it's kind of big format. I'm going to go like this and see if you can't get the whole thing. It's an abstract, and maybe I'll move it a little this way and this way. I just want to get the whole thing in there. It's on gallery wrapped canvas, and I painted it in 2016. This piece is called Inevitable. <clears throat> and what I was thinking about is our mortality at the time, because I had a dear friend lose his battle with cancer and was sad, but um, I know it's not the best subject to hang on your wall. For me, it helps to remind me to live each day to the fullest. Oh, I should say, so what happened was, and a lot of times I disengage, you know, uh, my right brain, if you will, to try to create and let my soul take over which it did, and produce this. And if you can see this, I, a lot of times after I'm done, uh, or I feel that I'm done, or at least I'm exhausted, <laughs> and want to be done, or what have you, I, I, and I take a look and see what I did, what I, what I see that appeared is the, the Grim Reaper there. Grim Reaper. I mean, it pretty much looks like it. It's unmistakable. But, again, this was painted... Um, from the soul somewhat, I don't want to say unconsciously, because I was certainly there and conscious, but uh, subconsciously, you know. Uh, I just let my feelings take over. Now, I know I'm really saying too many words, so i got to move on. <clears throat> second, second piece I would like to show you today is titled Masks. I had been working in just black and white. I was doing a series in black and white or painting monochrome when I painted this piece. What, what, I, what I really enjoy about this piece, and the reason I call it masks, is because when two people... Do I have it upside down? I do. Not that it would really matter. Well, it might matter to somebody. <laughs> anyway, I'm s sorry about that. Um, when you're in this situation, when two people, like these two people, are being intimate, or soon to be intimate, um, there are no masks. There shouldn't be, if you will. What I really like about painting just black and white is how just the hint of form, you know, through the use of color or the lack thereof, just, I should say, tone, by the use of tone, shading, highlights. Let me get a little closer, you see what I'm talking about. Just the suggestion of form is very impactful. And to me it's like a good written, uh, a well-written book. Good written. <laughs> a well-written book, the author leaves a little bit to the imagination, leaves a little bit out, giving your mind a place to, to fill in the blanks. So that's, that's what I think is really, really cool about painting this style. And I might, I'm going to do some more of it real soon. I just, I really dig it. And I did a few others that you might be familiar with. I did the praying hands one, and I don't know, I did a handful. I did a dancing, a dancer uh, called, at the time, you know, I, sometimes I rename paintings because at the time when I give them a title, it seems appropriate, and then later, not so much. This particular one I'm talking about was a dancer, a woman dancer with this long flowy gown. And I, I, initially I titled it Dance Like Everyone's, or Dance Like Ev No One's Watching, or whatever that phrase is. Yeah, Dance Like No One's Watching. I think that's what it was. And, you know, the more I thought about it, that's not, that's not really what I, what I wanted that piece to, to say. So I renamed it, and it's called... Everyone's watching. 
I mean, you, you can interpret that the way you want to, but um, anyway, I do. So thank you for taking the time to watch the studio show. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And as always, I hope you're creating something cool in your world. Peace.